Excel tutorial Jensen's Alpha Performance Metric. Portfolio performance metrics consist of portfolio expected or realized risk premium by unit of risk. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with Excel Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Jensen's Alpha consists of estimating asset average realized success return through the difference between asset average realized return and its theoretically estimated expected return using Capital Asset Pricing Model, or CAPM. For full reference, I recommend that you read Michael Jensen, The Performance of Mutual Funds in the Period from 1945 to 1964, published in the Journal of Finance in 1968. As a formula, we have that the asset Jensen's Alpha, or the asset average realized excess return is equal to, and here we have the asset returns mean minus and within brackets we have the risk free rate of return mean plus the asset market beta, which is the linear relationship between the asset risk premium and the market risk premium multiplied by market returns mean minus risk free rate of return mean. Great. So let's go into the Excel file so that we can study Jensen's alpha with greater detail. Perfect. So here we are within Jensen's alpha performance metric Excel file. So first we begin within the orange colored Jensen's alpha data worksheet. So as we can see, we have three columns of data. First of these dates, dates with a monthly frequency from the beginning of 2007. So we select A6 and then we press control down arrow on the keyboard and it goes all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data. So we press control up arrow, down arrow to go into the beginning of the column. Then at column B, we have SPY minus RF. That corresponds to the asset risk premium, the asset SPY, which is the ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. Therefore, here we have SPY's monthly arithmetic returns minus the, correspond risk, the corresponding month risk-free rate of re return, therefore the asset risk premium. And at column C, we have MKT minus RF, which corresponds to the market risk premium. Therefore, here we have the corresponding market portfolio monthly arithmetic returns minus the corresponding month risk-free rate of return, therefore the market risk premium. So now that we have the data ready, we can continue with the calculation of Jensen's alpha. So we go into the corresponding worksheet, colored in orange, Jensen's alpha calculation, and here is the first way of doing the calculation of Jensen's alpha. Then we'll do the calculation using a linear regression. So here, as mentioned, we're going to do the calculation of Jensen's alpha. So by selecting here cell B7, we see within the formula bar that we're calculating Jensen's alpha using the built-in Excel function of intercept, in which we have, first of all, the dependent or explained variable, which is the asset risk premium, Therefore, Jensen's alpha data from B6 to B125, comma, then we have the independent or explanatory variable as the market risk premium. Therefore, Jensen's alpha data from C6 to C125. So just double checking, we go into Jensen's alpha data worksheet. And as mentioned, here we have the dependent or explained variable, which is the asset risk premium from B6. So we select B6 and we press control down arrow, it goes all the way into B125. And then we have the corresponding independent or explanatory variable at column C, which is the market risk premium, which goes from C6 to C125. So we select C125 and we press control up arrow, down arrow to go into the beginning of the column, which as we can see begins at C6. So now we're also going to do the calculation of Jensen's alpha, but we're going to do it using linear regression. Therefore, for that, we have, as again, as dependent or explained variable, the asset risk premium, which is column B, and as independent or explanatory variable, we have the market risk premium at column C. 
To perform the corresponding linear regression, we go into the Data tab within Excel, and within the Analyze part, we have the Data Analysis Tool Pack, and we use the corresponding regression feature. So that's what we have here in the orange colored Jensen's Alpha Regression Worksheet. Notice that this regression was done before recording this video tutorial, therefore it's already been printed and it's also already been formatted. So here we have the summary output for the corresponding regression, ANOVA, and specifically we want to focus right here within the results in which we have the coefficients and specifically the one corresponding to Jensen's alpha, which is the one for the constant or intercept. That corresponding coefficient is the one which corresponds to Jensen's alpha. And as we can see, the coefficient for the constant or intercept from this regression corresponds to the same result we observed in the calculation of Jensen's alpha using the built-in Excel function of intercept. Perfect. So now that we finished studying Jensen's alpha performance metric, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.